Hello students, welcome to Proken Academy. Today I will discuss one of the important topic of the chapter Thermodynamics that is the work done by the work done in isothermal reversible expansion process uh, of an ideal gas. Okay, isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas that is the work done of isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas. It is very important for the JE and NEET aspirants and also it can come in the board exam okay so what we are going to discuss that work done work done of isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas now before uh, starting this topic uh, we need to learn what is isothermal process and what is reversible process and we need to know about the work done so that the, uh, you will clearly understand okay so what is isothermal process say a system when a system changes its state okay changes its state without changing the temperature that process is called isothermal process say a gas is here whose pressure is p1 and volume is p1 now it changed its state p2 v2 pressure is p2 and volume is p2 now if in this change temperature is constant that means there is no change in the temperature then this process will be called as isothermal process isothermal process clear isothermal this change will be called as isothermal process here t is constant temperature is constant but derivative of the temperature we know derivative of a constant is always zero it will be zero now it is the condition of the condition of the isothermal process that means change in the temperature will be zero okay now what is I, uh, reversible process what is reversible process now reversible process is a process in which a system will change from initial state to final state by undergoing infinitesimal small changes okay there will be infinitesimal small changes in between the initial and the final state and the system can come back to the original position also so that is the reversible process okay the system will change from one state to another state by infinitesimal small changes and it can come back to the original position that change is called reversible change okay now what is work done what is work done now we have to know about the sign convention of the work done i will tell you this uh, briefly about this topic this uh, words uh, these terms in separately in another video okay so work done on the system this one you have to learn work done on the system that means we are doing work on the system in that case the work will be positive okay and work done by the system work done by the system is negative work done on the system is positive and work done by the system is negative okay now i will start the work done of isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas okay so let us start the calculation say a gas an ideal gas say an ideal gas is fitted within a weightless frictionless piston okay and uh, that is like this an ideal gas is fitted within a cylinder within a cylinder by weightless frictionless piston this is the cylinder and this is the piston this is the piston which is weightless and frictionless okay now here gas is enclosed a closed gas we have considered which is ideal gas an ideal gas okay and it is fitted with weightless frictionless piston this is piston which is weightless frictionless okay now as it is weightless frictionless and and the gas is closed so the external pressure p external will be equal to the p internal that means the pressure which is exerted on the gas by outside that is the p external 
and it will be equal to the internal pressure of the gas okay now the pressure of the gas is decreased by an amount of say the pressure of the gas by is decreased by an amount of dp by an amount of dp this is the decreased pressure okay so now the pressure of the gas becomes p external minus dp which is equal to the internal pressure because p external is equal to p internal now if we decrease the pressure by an amount of dp small amount of infinitesimal amount of dp because we are uh, doing the reversible change so it should be infinitesimal amount okay so if the pressure of the gas is uh, decreased by infinitesimal amount dp so now the pressure becomes p external minus dp so it is equal to the pressure of the gas within the cylinder that means internal pressure okay so it is and volume this is the decreased pressure pressure decreased so now pressure becomes okay this one the pressure now after decreasing dp now volume will increase say the volume increased by an amount dv infinitesimal amount dv it is also infinitesimal amount dv now we have to calculate the work done now system will do one work the system will do a work that means work done by the system now we know that mechanical work now we know that mechanical work is pdv volume into change a uh, pressure into change in volume pdv mechanical work now as this is work done by the system work done by the closed ideal gas in each step as it is reversible so there will be uh, work done in each step so work done by the closed ideal gas in each step in each step will be minus p external minus dp into dv okay this is work done in each step work done in each step okay work done in each step now if we multiply then what we will get minus p external into dv plus dp dv now as this product dp and dv are both we have got by infinitesimal change so this will can be neglected because this will be very small this dp into dv will be very small so we have got the work done work done w in each step okay in each step is minus p into dv p external into dv okay now the system goes from one step to another step that means initial step to final step by infinitesimal small steps now in every step this ideal gas have a work done w equal minus p dv so what will be the total work done we have to summarize that all the work done so we have to in integrate this one okay under the change in volume v1 to v2 okay so i will do this one now so let's start the total work done calculation okay so total work done total work done will be the we have to integrate here that means that work done that means uh, work done in each step we have to integrate okay so that will be the total work done so total work done will be w total equal minus p external dv now why i have given here minus sign because it is the work done by the system and we have to integrate because we are getting we want to get the total work done total work done okay now the limit will be v1 to v2 limit will be v1 to v2 okay because the gas is expanded from v1 to v2 now as we have taken the ideal gas so we know that pv equal nrt for ideal gas pv equal nrt so we have to change we have to change this pressure in volume otherwise we cannot integrate because the function is here dv so here v equal nrt by p so this one we have to put it here okay so w total w total minus 
एनआर टी बाई पी डी भी एनआर टी बाई वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट पी हेयर एनआर टी बाई भी एनआर टी बाई भी ओके सो डब्ल्यू टोटल डब्ल्यू टोटल इक्वल टू माइनस एनआर टी इंटीग्रेशन भी वन टू भी टू हेयर आल्सो इंटीग्रेशन भी वन टू भी टू डी भी बाई भी नाउ वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट दिस वन सो वी नो द रूल ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन that dv by v integration of dv by v will be ln v will be ln v so minus nrt ln v under the limit v1 and v2 now we have to put the limit we have to put the limit upper limit minus lower limit as the rule of the integration v2 is the upper limit so we'll put it first ln v2 minus ln v1 now as the rule of the log w total will be minus nrt ln v2 by v1 this is the rule w total equal minus nrt ln v2 by v1 now we can convert this ln into log to the base 10 by multiplying by 2.303 okay so we'll get 2.303 nrt what we'll get 2.303 nrt ln v2 by v1 so this is the total work done by an ideal gas in isothermal reversible expansion we can convert this v2 by v1 into p2 by p1 p1 by p2 that is uh, in the pressure so if the examiner ask you this will be log this will be log ask you to calculate the total work done in that case v2 and v1 will be given that means the initial and final volume will be given and number of moles will be given in r will be the 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse because you are calculating w so you have to put 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse and temperature should be converted in kelvin okay the value of r you have to put minus sorry 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse and temperature should be in kelvin okay so this is the total work done in isothermal reversible expansion of an ideal gas okay now the normal the uh, re reversible change irreversible change and the terms of the thermodynamics i will discuss in separate video okay so if you like this video then do like comment and subscribe my channel thank you